Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Invaders, issue number five. Oh crap. If you don't get this comic book, we ain't friends. If you don't get this comic book, nah man, <laughs> go get this comic book. Look, let's get started talking about who made this comic book, and I'm going to give you little tiny bits and segments of what happened, because I respect you too much, alright? This, this ain't like a morning after kind of situation. I respect you, I love y'all, and I want you guys to be able to read this comic book for yourself and see how great it is. But there will still be some conversation topics. All right. So this is War Ghosts Part 5. Writer is Chip Zardosky. Art by Carlos Magno and Butch Juice. Alex uh, Guimarez did the color art. VCs Travis Lanham on letters. Juice and Romulo Ferraro Jr. did the cover. And Carlos Lau did the graphic design. All right, guys. My peeps. We get to see that Bucky is one of the coolest and smartest characters freaking ever. We're seeing that Cap and Namor did have some problems back then, which of course they, they should. They absolutely should have back during the um, the original formation of the, the uh, Invaders, which was retroactive, but nonetheless. Um, I want to see them build their respect, and I really hope that this comic book gets a good opportunity to do that. I want to see them argue at first, and then eventually um, Namor, uh, or Cap earns Namor's respect. Because what's Captain America's greatest superpower? his popularity and his ability to influence others. Let's face it. Um, what do you call it? He, um, Namor, dude, this is called World War Namor for a reason. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, dude, I, oh my God, get this freaking comic book. You get to see a fight between Namor and Cap. And it's beautiful and they're promising a whole lot more in the next issue. But this fight alone was great. This preemptive fight was fantastic. You get to see name, um, what's his name, uh, Tony Stark being uh, your typical jerk and not trusting Captain America. He seems to be justified in a way, but mind you, just because somebody's right doesn't mean that they're totally right, you know? Um, you find out that somebody uh, is about to commit a, or you think that somebody's about to commit a terrorist act, everybody likes to say, I knew it, but you didn't know it, you guessed or you assumed, and a lot of it was probably based on your prejudices, which is exactly what's going on here. Um, Tony Stark was right, but not because he knew. He just had his biases towards Namor, towards Atlanteans. That's kind of what Tony Stark is all about. Um, yeah, seeing that the Avengers were actually activated and then putting them in a way that they were probably the least effective was just expert. This comic book is great, man. This is so good. It, and now I'm, I'm pretty, like, I don't know unless somebody tells me, unless, you know, like one of the writers tells me. It seems pretty obvious, but, you know, again, um, I'm not going to, I'm only going to speculate. I'm not going to act like I know this, that, or the other thing. But it's pretty obvious in many regards that the um, the stuff that, that Jason Aaron was doing in the Avengers, where he showed Namor grabbing an army and things like that, Although we don't see that army in here, I'm hoping we do at some point, but I can only presume that this book is what um, elicited what was happening over there in the Avengers. I can only assume. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It is what it is. But I kind of hope it was. This Invaders comic book, man, this is just some next level writing. And the art, don't. Don't. If somebody's got a criticism of that art, keep it to yourself, man. Because, nah, no, I don't think anybody agrees with you. Like, that's a solo voice right there. You know, there's um, the original fight, the original superhero fight in comic books happened in Timely, timely Comics. And it was between the original Human Torch, Jim Hammond, and Namor, the Submariner. And we kind of get a bit of a return to form of that in this. And, oh, there are not very positive endings for it. Guys, please, please go out and buy this comic book. Go out and read this and enjoy the hell out of it. Support this book. Let's see if we can convince Chip Sardowski to make this baby his own. <laughs> this, is, this is a great book. Guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.